Hello friends, another problem based on divisibility rules. This time I am going to take up a problem in which we have to find the remainder when a large number is divided by a given number whose divisibility rule is known. Like we have uh, to find the remainder in this case when this number is divided by 9 and by 11. Likewise, I will take one more example here. This number is divided by 11. So let's see how we can solve this question within uh, very less time. The In the first part, we are given the divisor as 9. So what is the divisibility rule of 9? We know that a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of digits is divisible by 9. So whenever this number n can be represented as a multiple of 9 plus sum of digits of n. So we need to find this expression whenever the number can be represented as a multiple of 9 plus the sum of digits of the given number. So let's see for this case 1 9 2 8 3 7 4 6 5 is equal to so a multiple of 9 this I write in every bracket a multiple of 9 so I have taken the short form just to avoid writing it all over again a multiple of 9 plus the sum of digits now let's find the sum of digits 1 plus 9 plus 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 so this is the sum of digits again a multiple of 9 plus if you add this this is 10 20 30 40 45 plus 45 now you can see that 45 is exactly divisible by 9 so this is a multiple of 9 plus 9 times 5 and now whenever 9 is common in this and in this part then obviously the entire number here whatever we have written in the RHS here becomes a multiple of 9. So this is actually a multiple of 9. So whenever it becomes a multiple of 9 so what should be the remainder when we are dividing it by 9 and the number itself is a multiple of 9 that implies the remainder is 0. You can check for other numbers whenever the number comes out to be a multiple of 9 here then the remainder comes out to be 0. Now what happens when we divide this number by 11? Now this is the first part. For the second part we again need to express it just like before but the divisibility rule will change now obviously when n is a multiple of 11 now plus I will write the divisibility rule of 11 here because now the number under consideration is 11 so what is the divisibility rule of 11 sum of digits at odd places minus sum of digits at even places. Now this is the divisibility rule of 11. Whenever we test the divisibility of any number by 11, we find the sum of digits at odd places and sum of digits at even places and then we subtract the two. And then we check whether the obtained number is either 0 or divisible by 11 or not. So let's see for this number. So 1, 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6, 5, a multiple of 11 plus now sum of digits at odd places. Odd places means first, third, fifth like this. So this will become 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus even places 9, 8, 7, 6. Let's simplify this one and see 
what result we are obtaining so this is a multiple of 11 plus 5 plus 4 9 plus 3 12 plus 2 14 plus 1 15 minus this is 8 plus 7 15 plus 6 21 and 9 30 now you can see that the number obtained is 15 minus 30 now 15 minus 30 is actually a multiple of 11 plus minus 15 okay so plus 15 and minus 30 is minus 15 in this case now how do we express this minus 15 as a multiple of 11 because it is not divisible by 11 so i am going to make a small change here a multiple of 11 now minus 15 should be written as say next number which is divisible by 11 after 15 is 22 so i'll write this as minus 22 plus 7 so minus 22 plus 7 is obviously minus 15 and now this part becomes a multiple of 11 because 11 is common here also and here also so what is left out is 7 and therefore the remainder becomes 7 now this is what you can do here also when the number obtained here is not divisible by 9 you can convert it into a number which is divisible by 9 and whatever you are left with after that becomes the remainder so if you have understood it then it is good but if you have not understood this then we can take up one more problem and do this again now see i am expressing this number 28735429 as a multiple of 11 plus now take the odd places odd places are 2 plus 7 9 plus 5 14 plus 2 16 and then we have the even places even places are 8 plus 3 11 plus 4 15 plus 9 24 so this becomes a multiple of 11 16 minus 24 is minus 8 and now you can express it as a multiple of 11 now you can see in this case that here we obtain a number 8 which is smaller than the divisor 11 so automatically the remainder becomes 8 in this case but here the remainder obtained number was 15 which was greater than 11 so i express 15 as 22 minus 7 this is what is the difference so you can take up some problems and i'm sure you will learn this method very easily so if you like this video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel